up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rake Double J. Hey. Okay, so uh, it's raining outside and I am on my lunch. I just bought groceries to make a vegetarian burger. That's all. That's all about. I just bought stuff to make a vegetarian burger. Guess how much that costs? Like eighteen dollars for a burger, a burger, a burger, a vegetarian burger. Are you serious? But anyways, I'm gonna get back with y'all, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got, and I'm gonna show y'all the receipt. Bye. Okay, so I already turned on my oven, so I'm gonna make this real quick so I can make the same lunch while I'm on my lunch. So, I bought some gluten-free cookies to try. Um, this is what I bought from Walmart. I like put like two or three on the side. Um, the bread I got is a gluten-free white bread. It was in the, um, the gluten department at Walmart. And that's what this is. Um, the burger I got is a vegan burger. So, I think it's the same thing, a vegan, I think it's a vegetarian burger too. I'm guessing. Made with carrots, celery. Yeah, I think it's a vegetarian burger. Yeah. That's the burger I got. Um, this cheese is gluten free. This is the cheese I got. But I did not buy um vegetarian mayonnaise um i just got the regular mayonnaise because vegetarian mayonnaise was like four dollars so i was like on oh, mayonnaise i'm not about to buy no pay no four dollars for mayonnaise so i just bought the cheapest one i saw and it was like a dollar and 40 something cent but yeah only one two three four five five products and Can y'all see that? Like, you see what I spent? What the heck? Like, I really spent eighteen dollars on five products. Like, I don't know if I can do this vegetarian stuff. This thing is expensive. How many burgers is in here? What do I say on here? Four servings, so I'm guessing four burgers. Yeah, it's four burgers, so I guess a burger for every day. Well, a burger for a meal, I'm guessing. So maybe $18 is not that bad for four, four, four burgers. Do I have enough bread for four burgers? Two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, that's enough bread. All right, let's get this thing started. Yesterday, one of my customers was telling me, like, these burgers are really good. So, they better be good for me not to be a vegetarian. These burgers better be good. Now, I have tried vegetarian burgers before, but not this one. Like, this one right here, it got, like, you can tell it got, like, vegetables in it. It looks like it got vegetables and stuff in it. But other burgers that I tried, they was good because they were just made out of vegetarian meat. And you, I guess they grinded it up real good. You couldn't tell that it was, you know, that it was a vegetarian burger. As long as I didn't see it. As long as it didn't look like it, it was fine with me. But this one looked like it. So, it better be good. It better be hyped up the way he's saying it was. So, that's all I'm saying.
I'm going to go ahead and cook all of them. Just so if I do like them, I'm going to just go ahead and put the cheese on all of them, cook all of them, and put the rest of them like in a bowl or something for the rest of the week. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and put this in the oven. We'll be back. Okay, so um, the burger is ready. I let it cook for about mm, 15, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. But the oven was already preheated, so yeah. So one thing I have noticed, this bread is a little harder than regular white bread. But yeah, and I did warm the bread because maybe I was... I put it in the oven to just think it'll be like it'll get a little softer if I, you know, put it in the oven. It was just for a few seconds though. But yeah, that's one thing I did notice when I opened it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am really scared about this meat. Um, Not bad. And yeah, the only thing on this sandwich is the burger cheese. I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on the bread, and that's it. That's the only thing on this sandwich. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Let me get it over with. Okay, well, I have to say, all together, it's not bad. It's eatable. Like, for real, for real. It really is. It's not bad at all. But that meat by itself, it tastes like they put a whole bunch of soy sauce in it for, like, flavor. But, yeah, all together, it's not bad. The bread is not bad at all. Yeah. I think I can do this. I can do this. These are the gluten-free Oreo cookies. Oh, it's the Great Value brand. Oh, I showed y'all in the beginning. I forgot. Okay. The icing in the middle is, like, not as thick as regular Oreo icing, like, which I like, because that Oreo icing be too sweet and too thick. Um, so I like, it's kind of, like, creamy. But sweetness is, like, might be about the same sweetness. This chocolate tastes like it's um dark chocolate, but um just a little bit. It tastes like it's dark chocolate a little bit. But um actually I would have to say, I think I like this cookie better than a regular Oreo cookie. I think mainly because the middle part, mainly. But yeah, 
that's my gluten free slash vegetarian meal that I did for lunch today bye see you guys another time peace out